Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another battle for you today and today we are on Thrones of Britannia and I was up late last night trawling through workshop mods. Strangely I came across Thrones of Britannia and I found the bloody 9th Legion. Yes this is a mod that adds the 9th Legion, the Legion that was lost in, um, well in Britannia, in Scotland to be precise, um, they presume. And uh, it's back, baby. They're back. The veterans of the 9th Legion, and probably many generations after, are here to fight some Viking scum. So um, we've got a couple of battles for you today. I'm just going to see how strong these goddamn uh, legionaries are. So we have, um, well, basically we have the Cohors uh, Evocata, so the Evocati cohort. Um, we also have just, I'm pretty sure we have normal Cohors, yep, yeah, normal Cohors down here. Looking ever so slightly different with different shields. Then we've got uh, Sagittari, which uh, obviously archers, they look goddamn awesome. The models look amazing, I will not lie. Um, really, really good. These guys have no eyes though, I've just realised. That's very spooky. <laughs> that is kind of scary. And then we have a huge cohort over here, a 300 man. It's actually nearly the size of a cohort, actually. Um, 300 size unit, uh, cohorts, Aquili. They look goddamn awesome. Um, with their eagle shields, they look amazing. And then we have... Um, some Equites Legionnaires, which look pretty damn awesome as well, I won't lie. Look at this boy. Again, with no eyes, it's scary. Then we've got a Legatus in the background there. He looks awesome. He will lead this Legion back to glory. We also have a Ballista, because, you know, no Roman army can't go without a, a Ballista, a bit of siege equipment. And then we have a Spear Unit out here. The only Spear Unit that Rome has in its roster, um, or the Ninth Legion has in its roster. And this is the Cohors Mil Milaria. These look, guys look kind of cool. It's a bit scary with their no eyes again, but I mean, I like the like the plume on their helm. It looks awesome. Um, so yeah, we're going to see all these guys in action. And we're up against a, a single army of Northumbria. They've all got silver chevrons right now. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. Balance power, massively in my favour at the moment. Um, there is going to be some slow-mos and stuff put in, because this is a very, very short battle is this one. Look at this test judo, though. Oh boy. This line of test judo is amazing. This is a solid wall. This is like puts any Viking shield wall to shame. Because we all know that uh, Romans v Vikings, there's only one winner here. Well, you hope so anyway. I mean, I do love both both uh, warrior, what, what would you call them, like warrior races almost. Uh, a pretty damn awesome. Oh, we got some shots from the Ballista. That is pretty nice. Some pretty nice hits there. Got a couple of kills. Let's see if we can get another one. Um, but the Romans are superior in every way. Oh my gosh, I think we missed that one. I think that one generally just missed the entire army of the um, Vikings. That's pretty poor. That one had not got some nice hits, actually. But yeah, I just thought I'd change up the video uh, that we'd have today. And didn't really have a battle that was in mind for you guys. And I saw this interesting mod and I want to see how goddamn awesome the Romans were. They're trying to take out the uh, archers now in the background. But I also just remind you guys that Siege Week is starting tomorrow. We have a load of sieges prepared for you guys to watch and enjoy. And here we go. Some cavalry might be about to engage over here at the moment. Very nice. Nice little cavalry charge. And the clash of infantry is also about to begin. Oh my gosh, the javis. That is nasty. That is something that the Romans have over the Vikings, obviously, is their javis. But here we go. The Vikings have clashed with the Romans. And it is excellent. And the cavalry just coming in and charging. Let's get some slow-mos going on over here. Oh my god, that was a nice... Oh, I thought that javi was going to hit something. But yes, the siege week is starting soon. So if you want to uh, see what happens in that week and see all the battles, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and you've hit the notification bell so you'll know when every single siege comes out. We have a great, great week planned while, you are all in a, while we're all in isolation. It's going to be some great entertainment, but here we go. We can have some look at some Romans fighting some Vikings as well. Because who doesn't love a bit of uh, bit of fighting between Romans and Vikings? You can sort of get it in Attila, but here you go. Here's the, here's the real deal Vikings. These are the proper Vikings. But it looks like the cavalry has won on their flank over there against the Romans. No surprise. Uh, against the Vikings, sorry. Um, so no surprise there. Rome has... Well, come out on top. We've still got that huge cohort in reserve. Good to see if they can get into some combat. Um, they may not even get to that. It's looking like, well, the AI is obviously playing dumb and just smashed against these walls of uh, 
Shields. I mean, just look at these. I've forgotten what the uh, Roman shield's called, but it's... Uh, well, I, f I think it begins with S, but I mean, if you hit against a wall of um, them, there are... I think it's like... I can't remember. It's like a scooter or something like that. It's like... Scutum? Scutum or something like that? I can't remember. Or that might be just the boss on the shield called that. I can't remember. I need to do my uh, research and that sort of thing. Uh, Roman equipment's so interesting. But, um... And it's so, so, like, well-developed. It's just like, no wonder Rome just, like, destroyed so many civilizations. General General's under attack. Yes, but he's taking out archers, so who cares? Oh my gosh, look at all the Javis coming in. But yeah, these basically look like, I think they're just uh, Rome 2 models. Most of them just imported, like, into, uh, into Thrones of Britannia. They look very, very similar. Obviously, the Cohors, uh, Malaria, are clearly a very unique unit. And the Sagittari also look very different and uh, unique in comparison. And so does the Cavalry, in fairness. I think it's just the infantry that looks very, very similar. They may actually be uh, unique. They just look very similar. But the Ninth Legion did kind of disappear at that point where, um, like, Empire was at its height. It's under Hadrian. And there's a good film that's, like, sort of a good film that's adapted from the books um, called The the Eagle. It's uh, The books are written by... I want to say, I can't remember, something Sutcliffe, I can't remember what her name was, off the top of my head. But um, but yeah, the films I got Channing Tatum in and uh, Jamie Bell, it's kind of, it's pretty good actually. Um, and I kind of enjoy it, I might, you know what, watching this is kind of giving me the vibes for uh, watching it again, seeing the ninth back in combat, the ninth Hispania. But yes, this Legion was lost and it was never remade because when, an e when a Legion's lost and an Eagle is lost, um, Eagle lost, honor lost, honor lost, uh, all is lost. A saying for you there. I don't know if that's a genuine saying. They say it in the Eagle. I feel like it's something that the Romans would have said. But here we go. It's the last stand of the Vikings. The Romans have just won on every front so far. But I have got another battle for you. And it's, uh... Well, we're going to see if the Romans can take on double this amount of Vikings. Because clearly... The Romans are goddamn OP, and they took a lot of men down. We'll quickly have a look at some of the end results as well, just to see who did the best. Um, but I imagine that the Ballista would have got a lot of um, kills, as well as some of the other stuff. We'll have a look at quickly look at the end replay and see who did best. Basically, um, looks like the well, the Ballista getting 120 kills. That's no surprise. Like the Kohals ever cards are getting 140. That is also not too bad. The Cavalry getting 118, pretty damn good, and the General getting 76. Can't complain there. 188 actually for that cohort of Evercarts. So that's good. And the huge cohort of uh, cohorts Aquilae getting 91. That's uh, that's not too bad. And um, yeah, the Vikings just nothing of note there. So even on Silver Chevron. So we'll see whether we can get another battle in for you guys. So I will see you guys in a moment for the second battle. Here we go. We've got a similar setup. We've got basically the same setup. We're going to see whether we can take on two... Uh, Viking armies. We've now got um, East Engel here with a very similar army. I didn't give them any chevrons because it's well the balance of power. It's uh, looking a bit more favourable, I'd say, this time for the Vikings. But we will see what happens. It's um, well, yeah, we're going to see what happens. They've got double the amount of cavalry, so we've got to see whether they can use the cavalry. They've got Jarl's horsemen over here this time, and they've got oh, is this uh, oh, this is also Northumbria. Okay, so they've mixed up their cavalry a bit. We'll see whether they can get any good hits with the uh, artillery. There's a huge blob of infantry over here you can hit. Look at the arrow fire coming in. This is excellent. I do love Thrones Battalion. It does look excellent, though. They did look like they got a decent hit back there. There's a lot of Berserkers, lots of Huskarls. Their army's very, very elite. Oh, my gosh, this is a good hit. I kind of caught that one, but there's a few back here. Look at the devastation. And here we go. We're going to see the clash of infantry in a moment. Testudo walls are ready and waiting for them as the Sagittari just loose every arrow possible into this wall. Jeez, that was a good hit. And here we go. The clash of the Vikings and the Romans for the second time. Can the Vikings win this time? Can they beat the Romans? They're actually breaking through here. They're actually breaking through the line. This is going to be a bit more interesting. And they've got their big axes with their Huskiles. Will they keep any reserves though? That's interesting. They have kept a few actually back here. But, I mean, geez, they're just loosing everything into them. And it looks like the cavalry 
This time charged into the infantry line, which is a bit more interesting. Didn't actually bother to engage, engage our infantry, uh, our cavalry, sorry. Um, but I mean, we're going to quickly make quick work of them. Already some wavering here, some Dane law. Um, swords breaking. We have a flank over here by the cohorts. The Millarium, they're already going in. Since they have. I don't think they actually had to deal with this cavalry. They all seem to die here to Javis. But I mean, even the cohorts Millarium have Javis. This is just insane. It's obviously the AI, so obviously I've uh, got a better chance playing as Rome. Um, Find these guys. I just want to see how goddamn OP they are. But they seem to hold. It's a. Look at this thin line, though, of red. Holding back. But this is how the Romans do well. Close combat with their small. Um, small swords. Gladiuses. Stabbing away. We've got even flanks over here. We could really flank around if we wanted to. The cavalry causing a panic back here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we, of course, we're in the back lines. We need to really go over there as well as archers to taking fight, pot shots at us there. But I think we have lost a cavalry unit. We're only down to two now. Um, I think the other one's pretty beaten up and gone. Oh, no, it's just there. And ten men left. But, um, yeah, it's basically gone. There's a huge flank going on over here. We have some cohorts flanking round. So it probably looks like it's going to be a good night for the Vikings again. They don't seem to be able to break through this first front line of, uh, well, of shield of the shield wall. And there's point blank shots coming in from the uh, ballista. Jeez. Yeah, you can see that, like, horses falling down in the background. Another good hit there. I think that's it. I took control of the blister at this point because I was kind of just like, right, we're going to use every bit of ammo up. I'm going to just cause more havoc. But the, here comes the Romans into the rear. Roma and Victor. Am I right? Goddamn barbarians need to leave our country. We've come back to retake it. We've been hiding in Scotland for goddamn too long. And we're back. They kept trying to feed us haggis up there. I mean, don't know what. Oh, here we go. The big, lead, the big cohort, the cohorts, Aqualize now actually getting involved. Finally, having to do some fighting. Only lost two men. Jeez. How are they double silver chevron though? That is insane. They've already leveled up or something. I don't remember giving these guys any levels up, but they already seem to like just start with chevrons. Which is interesting. So maybe we'll have to try a third battle. Maybe a third army. I don't know. An enemy, ge enemy general is dead. Yeah, Cohorts Militarium or Malarium. I can't remember what these guys are called. What are they called? Cohorts Malaria. Malaria. That's the, I'm pretty sure that's the disease you get in Africa if you get bitten by a mosquito. But Oh, some nice little stabbing there. Just mopping these guys up now. The Sagittarii are just like destroying them as they run away. If the Vikings form shield wall, it would be interesting to see what happened. But they don't. They just charge in and get themselves killed. Excellent. Keep chopping heads off, boys. And it looks like Rome is going to be victorious again. It looks like the loss of their generals was enough to break them. And there we go. Rome is victorious once more. I'm sure we'll have a quick look at the end re replay again. I'm sure they did just as well. Oh my gosh, the Ballista got 541 kills. That is insane. Um, and then, well, if you look at the Equites, I mean, they did equally well. I mean, oh my gosh, the Cohorts Aquila are getting 308 kills. Jesus. And then um, Cohorts Evocata getting just as many kills, really 281. Wow. Cohorts Malaria doing pretty well as well, getting 150 kills. And the Sagittarii getting about 80 kills. That's not too bad either. Um, the Vikings sort of improved. I mean, I don't think they really got too many kills. East Engel getting a few kills, but really not that many. Um, we have really only lost 500 men. I think probably more from Friendly Fire than anything else. But that is where I'm going to wrap up uh, the second battle. And I will quickly show you guys the roster 
of the Ninth Legion if you want to have a look at that. So here we go. This is, um, well, this is, as you can see, I did not level up any of the Romans. Um, they started on nothing and they clearly just like leveled themselves up so quickly. Got to gold chevron to some of them, including the Ballista. Um, but yeah, the Ross is very small, but does it really need to be big? Probably not. They, so yeah, you have your Legatus, you have your Cohors Malaria. You can only bring one unit of Cohors Aquilae, which is probably a good thing because they're very overpowered. Um, and they're a huge unit. They cost so much to bring as well. Um, you have your Cohors Avocata, Cohors. You have Sagittari. You have uh, Alares. You have Equites Legionis. They're the only unit I did not bring, Alares. Uh, just a lighter unit of Cav. Probably just as powerful, actually. Yeah, they're still pretty good. They're just uh, Auxiliary Cavalry. Um, you have your Artillery, your Ballista, and you have your Scorpion, um, or your Manu Ballista, as it is. So that is that is all there is. There isn't a um, campaign for them yet. I really hope that they can add a campaign. Um, it is, their faction is just called the uh, Ninth Legion Hispania. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed um, seeing this mod and you want to see more, maybe a Roman siege against the Vikings, that would be quite interesting. I'm sure I could organize something um, like that. But if you, like I said, if you enjoyed them, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment if you'd like to see more about this mod. And don't forget to check out next week for Siege Week, where there's going to be plenty more excellent battles. And until next time, Legionnaires...